Hi, I'm Dante Small, and I'm going to walk you through the steps for creating an OAuth user level unified bill flow marketplace app. So to get started, I'm already logged into the Zoom marketplace, as you can see here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit build app. This will automatically create a unified bill flow app. And as you can see by default, it's an admin level app, but we can change it. So what I'll also be doing, I could change the app name. And I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna say, here, select user level. So uh, change will reflect the following. Just give me a warning that this is what the change will reflect. Since it's an since a user level, you have less uh, permissions scopes. So I hit save. That's going to now change my app to a user level. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put in my redirect URL. So the redirect URL I'll be using this. So I'll use the Google as my redirect URL. I'm also gonna add that to the allow list and add that automatically. So I'll move on. I don't need to do anything here, so I won't be configuring any webhooks. So I'll move on to the next tab. And we'll be using uh, the meeting product. This is where your products will be used. So I'll be using meetings. Um, I don't need to add anything here. So, and this is the minimal setup. Uh, so we'll just move on to the next one. We won't also be anything there. Um, so now we need to add the scopes. This will allow us to give us permissions to certain products. In this case, we use a meeting. So I'll do view meetings and I will do write meetings. Uh, from that point, I also need to write a description, um, view and manage, manage meetings, view meetings. And they will zoom out. Okay, so all done there. Um, and as you can see now, uh, we can test locally. If you come here, uh, you can see, click preview the page, which will preview what the app page will look like. This is what the app page will look like. Of course, I didn't add an icon, but the icon would appear there. The name of the app, uh, the requirements, permissions, um, the app information that it can manage, and the scope. So we see here we have meeting write and meeting read scopes added. You can also generate a URL, which will allow you to share with other folks that you want to test your app. So you can just generate. Um, Copy that, and we can also see what that's going to look like here. So when you share this link, this is what folks will see. And you can see uh, they're being prompted that they're, gonna, that they're about to add your user level app. Um, and they have to just simply select allow this app to use share permissions. And hit so uh, with all that, we should be ready to uh, move on over to um, Postman to test getting an access token out. 
So for here, I'm just going to simply, uh, the first step is to make a request, a get request to the authorization endpoint. So that's already set up. And what I'll be doing is I'll just be taking this URL and I'll place it in the Chrome browser. This will automatically redirect to Google Chrome, uh, where I will hit allow. And I'll be redirected to Google and you'll see now, you'll see now that you have the code. Uh, this code is what needs to be used in the second OAuth step. So in this case, um, I would come over to here and um, add the code to the, add the code as a value for the code. And I also want to come over here to the authorization. And I want to copy. I'm going to select basic auth. And then I will copy kind ID. secret and from this point uh, I should be ready to make a request and as you can see the last request failed uh, I should be ready to make a request and get an, an OAuth token so let's check that out so awesome you see that the soaps the scopes we selected are returned so the meeting read meeting write, zoom app scopes refresh token and the access token uh, one quick thing uh, to get to the documentation for the unified build flow, you can just hit learn more and you'll be redirected to the page for unified build flow. So you get an overview of how to use unified build flow. And that's it. Thanks.